moment by parts example um, here is the one of the asymmetric loading situation so moment by parts will be uh, easier to apply to calculate the deflections imagine that we are interested in calculating the deflection at point C so the question is uh, what is the um, what is this uh, this mass so in the picture it is delta C so what is the value of that is it very difficult to use that area moment method because the deflection curve is not symmetric now in this case by area moment method so the separate a moment curve is drawn for each of these uh, loads so for example the reaction at A so that is the big triangle so that's the moment 11,000 and then uh, we are, and then this uh, load at C 1800 pounds so that's the the moment would be 9000 and that's negative so you know how to calculate that or check those videos where I show how to calculate moments now once we draw this then uh, the uh, for example say we want to start and calculate between y b a that is we if we are interested to calculate so that's gonna be the uh, all the summation of uh, area moments uh, times their area moments times their x bars divided by e i uh, kind of same method uh, as area moment however this x bar is little bit different so for example for the larger triangle it is half times the height which is 11 uh, thousand pound feet uh, times the uh, half times uh, the height times the base which is which is 10 feet and then the x bar which is counted from uh, the right uh, from the right side so from b so from b it is one third of 10 feet like that plus the um, this bc 9000 triangle so that is uh, so that is negative so it's going to be basically minus one half times the base which is 5 feet times the height which is 9000 pound foot times the um, distance x bar which is from the b so from b is one third of five like that minus the smallest triangle so half times base which is 2.5 uh, feet times the uh, height 2000 pound feet uh, and then times one third of 2.5 so the X is from the right side divided by EI must be very careful about the unit here because most of the time I is in inch power 4 and then modulus of elasticity is in PSI however here you have pound feet and then feet and then another feet so you have to convert three of these so what you can do simply you can multiply this by 12 cube so that will become inches so 12 inches times 12 inches times 12 inches so then you can put all this value to calculate ba now similarly we can calculate here is another interesting thing you should notice look at how look at the uh, c y c a so when we are talking about b a meaning that we draw a tangent line at a and then c is how far vertically down from a so that is b a same thing if we are interested in uh, c a we draw a tangent line at a and then we see how far is that point uh, from c so that's why c a means so simply we only calculate the area between a and c so if we do so we can simply do half times uh, this triangle this this and this if I name this uh, say um, G so it's the we're talking about a C Z triangle so half times the base which is five foot 
times the 5500 uh, pound food times the um, uh, x bar once again this x bar from c not from a so that's going to be one third of uh, five food and then all of these because food 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 to convert it in inches is going to be 12 um, cube divided by ei if e and i they're in uh, regular psi and inch power four inches now once we know that then we can uh, calculate the uh, so we can calculate yc by uh, comparing this a b this and a c this triangle so comparing these two triangles we can calculate yc as 5 by 10 times y b a so now we know y c and y c a so we can easily calculate delta c is equal to y c minus y c a so that's the answer